All right, guys, this thing is massive. He dug up a giant. <laughs> What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today I had an opportunity to rescue a giant salcado tortoise. Do you see that monster back oh there? Oh my god. Let's get, let's get closer to him. Do you see the giant? <laughs> Do you see how big this thing is? All right guys, this thing is massive. As you guys know, I have quite a few tortoises back at the house, but today I had an opportunity to rescue this beautiful giant male tortoise. He's right about 30 years old. Today, we're gonna bring him back to the house to give him a nice new home. Guys, he dug up a giant hole. I'm gonna show you what these tortoises actually do. These these tortoises will actually dig a hole in the ground because it gets too cold at night. So as you can see here, we have two lamps just to give him warmth. He came out of his hole just to get some warmth because it got cold at night. That's what they do and we got some nice uh, salad, lettuce right going on right there. Now, my boy Farley and I are yeah, going to yeah. pick this giant 100-pound tortoise. Pick up, huh? It yeah. doesn't walk? Yeah, that's going to that's gonna have to it's gonna have to happen. <laughs> All right, now we're going to pick this thing up. We're going to take it back to the truck. Let's go. <laughs> All right, as you guys can see, there's actually two other tortoises here in the pen. Um, this one's actually going to be kept here as a pet, and then the other one is sold to another person. But these are actually all males. Look at this. Let's get closer. This one's munching out right here. That's <laughs> a party. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Where'd he go? Ooh, he's chilling. Wow, look how pronounced his tusks, his tusks, his tusks, tusks, his tusks are. Males will actually use these to fight with other men. You see how he's trying to like charge yeah, at me? Yeah, yeah. So they will actually use those to fight with uh, other males. So let's get let's, let's let's get close to this one just to show you. All right, guys. So the a lot of a lot of people will probably say that this is actually not a male because of the way the shell is. Uh, this this tortoise's shell actually caved in forward a lot of the males the front of it while she cave in out like the other two this one is a special tortoise because the shell just didn't grow properly but i mean still a healthy beautiful looking tortoise all right guys we're back at the house we put him in the trunk you know he made a little bit of a mess on the way here a little bit kind of <laughs> yeah kind of pooped all over it smells terrible farley and i are gonna pick up this giant hundred pound tortoise again yeah, uh, yes unfortunately <laughs> we have to do that again we're gonna take this giant tortoise to the backyard so he can be in his new home. So, uh, Farley, you ready? I guess so. All right, let's go. <laughs> so, pretty much, how are we gonna lift him again? All right, so the easiest way to do this is to flip him over on his back mm -hmm. and then hold him because they don't really do much when they're upside down. The reason why we can't hold him right here is because he's gonna use his feet and try to kick our fingers off of his shell and it hurts like hell. So, Eesh. we're not gonna do that. What is going on, everyone? That is right, my boy Farley had to go but before i say anything i gotta give a very 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 special thank you to farley for really going out of his way and helping me i can't if there was like a million thank yous i could say in like two seconds i probably would but unfortunately i can't do that right now so sorry farley let's get right into this so as you know i did rescue this giant male tortoise he is massive like he is just pushing 100 pounds okay I just realized I'm talking to you guys with a giant cucumber in my hand. This is hilarious, but let's feed him. So it turns out his name is Donnie. You know, the lady who owned this tortoise before was very, very, very heartbroken. And she had this tortoise for 12 years. 12 years is a long time. And her kids actually pretty much grew up with this tortoise almost and named him Donnie. I guess one of the Ninja Turtles, I don't really watch Ninja Turtles too much, but I think one of the tortoises one of the turtles from the Teenage Ninja Turtles is named Donnie. I've, I've, comment down below if that's right. I decided to keep the name Donnie because it meant a lot to her. And you know what? I think we're gonna keep it that way. There you go. There you go. There you go. Donnie pooped all over Farley's truck. Farley. I'm sorry. <laughs> there you go. You're hungry too. Everyone eats. Everyone's eating. All right. I got food for everyone. I got food. So everyone's happy. Stop fighting. Everyone's got their own food. This one's got food all over his back. Let me help you out. Help you out there a little bit. There you go. 
There we go. Everyone's happy. No more arguing. No more arguing. All right. If not, it's going to be detention time for the tortoises. All right, guys. If you haven't seen the last tortoise enclosure video that I did, it was the flower pot tortoise enclosure that I did. So let's check up on them, see how they're doing. He's doing good. He's happy. He's chilling, doing his thing. He still got the, he kind of munched on it a little bit. You know, he's got his little home right here. Everything looks good. He's still good. He's happy. Sometimes if he gets too hot, he'll go in the shade or he'll be on this rock right here. He likes to bask right there. You know, he's got his little home to chill. Everything's still looking good. If you guys own a tortoise, you guys know that they like to walk on fence on any fence line at your house. You see these tracks right here? This is actually from the tortoise. They like to walk up and down uh, the fence line because that's what they do all day. That's, they're just tortoises and they do that a lot. You know, that's what they like to do. All right, guys, we're gonna wash Donnie down here. She's got, he's got quite an amount of poop on him. So we're just gonna rinse him down, give him a little bath. We're gonna water the other guys down. Make sure everyone's happy here. There you go, buddy. Rinse, rinse, rinse. There you go, there you go. Alrighty, now that this guy is perfectly nice and clean, he's good to go. Guys, this these markings on the top of his show is not bad for him. This just means that he's just an older tortoise. Also, he was in an enclosure where it was just all sand and rock, and he dug his own burrow. Sorry guys, I'm like completely out of breath. That took a lot of work. Just to flip him over and rinse him down, that took a lot of work. Anyways, his old enclosure, he dug that enclosure himself. Turns out that hole was actually five feet deep. He dug that himself, which is pretty impressive. Don't be doing that to my yard now. He did that himself and those markings on his shell actually caused that, which is not really bad for them. I mean, if you think about it, these tortoises are from Africa and Africa is known for their deserts and rocky areas. So he is completely comfortable with his shell being like that. It doesn't harm him and it doesn't hurt him whatsoever, but he does feel it. All right, you see, you see, it was in line, was in line. This was actually from my other giant tortoise, but he is also walking along the fence line. My giant male tortoise that FWC actually gave to me was stolen from my backyard. That is right. Guys, I am in the Kendo area. If you guys happen to have seen a 100 pound tortoise walking in the front of your house, let me know. I know it's kind of weird. It doesn't make any sense. But if you happen to see a 100 pound tortoise, just like Donnie, walking in the front of your house, guys, let me know. Comment down below. You guys have my Instagram. My Instagram is right there. Guys, please let me know. Guys, I'm actually going to be turning my entire yard into a giant tortoise enclosure. Why did I say that so slow? I'm going to be turning my whole yard into a tortoise enclosure. Look at this guy. Guys, stay tuned for that video. It's gonna be sick. I'm gonna be turning my whole yard into a giant tortoise enclosure. It's gonna be sick. Guys, that video is actually going to be involving these two pieces of trash that I found. Actually, it is not trash, and that's why I'm going to be involving that in the tortoise enclosure guys stay tuned for that all right guys it's getting like ridiculously hot the sun's in my face guys thank you so much for watching if you haven't already hit that red subscribe button go ahead and do so make sure you hit that like button and also comment down below what you guys want to see next don't forget keep on fishing peace why did i say keep on fishing this was a tortoise video